Hello everyone, today we will be discussing again the IMRAD format or the AIMRAD, but this time with sample articles in order for us to specify suggested content of each part. Just to remind everyone that IMRAD or AIMRAD is an acronym for Abstract, Introduction, Methods, Results, and Discussion. Most scientific papers are prepared according to this format. Abstract summarizes the entire study. The report's abstract appears at the start of the document, but you should write it after you have drafted the entire report. The abstract gives a very brief summary of the entire article, including the significance and aim of the report. Try to look at this journal. Techniques. Key finding. Consequences of the finding. Scrutinize this example. So for the significance and aim of the report, let me read it. This study assessed the theories of administration and management of leadership professed and practiced by the guidance heads of Arellano University. The results of the assessment became the basis for the development of proposed action plan. Let's go to the techniques. What did you notice in the techniques? It's about the research design. So in this example, it's a mixed method research design. Specifically, triangulation with convergence model. And then of course, we have statistical treatment as well. And then for the key findings, the study revealed that gaps between the leadership professed and practiced by the guidance head on the indicators under contingency theory. Specifically, these are ensure assumption of responsibility for each member of the department, recognize opportunity when the group needs direction, and clarify role expectation. And then consequences of the finding. The researcher proposed an action plan to sustain best leadership and management practices as well as to interweave leadership indicators with gaps and also enhance management and leadership understanding of the guidance head. So remember this for in writing your abstract, the significance and aim of the report, techniques, Okay, findings, consequences of the findings. But again, let me reiterate that you should write it after you have drafted the entire report. Some journal articles required keywords. So don't forget the keywords. Keyword should contain words and phrases that suggest what the topic is about. Look at the title. Exploring the potential predictors of teacher psychological well-being amidst the pandemic. Look at the keywords. Keywords are mental health, psychological need satisfaction, and teacher's well-being. All of this suggests what the topic is all about. The purpose, necessity, and significance of the research are discussed in the introduction. You make a case for your research in the introduction. The problem or circumstance that inspired the research should be described first. In this example, kindly read that. And what do you think is the problem or circumstance? If you're thinking and your answer is about the effect of global health crisis, pandemic COVID-19, and education, then you are correct. And then we have 
to introduce a gap or issue in the field before talking about the present state of the research in the area. So what's the issue in this example journal? So the issue here is about the transition that introduces a new system in education. Then educators are compelled to accept it. Likewise, the adoption of it may affect their psychological well-being. Finally, describe how the current study fills that gap or resolve that issue. So in this journal, it's about the consideration of the well-being of the respondents. If the study has hypotheses, they are presented at the end of the introduction. Only if it has, because usually qualitative studies do not have hypotheses. A. Imrad. We're done with A, the abstract, the I, the introduction. Now we'll go to the methods. The method section explains to readers how your study was conducted. There are three important things you need to remember in the method section. First, the design or approach. Second, population or sample. Third, the research tools or instrument. Again, the methods, it discusses what did you do. Then there are three things you needed to remember. First, design and approach. Kindly look at the sample journal in your screen. What do you think is the research design? If your answer is quantitative design, or specifically quantitative descriptive and predictive, then you are right. Second thing that you needed to remember, population or sample. Concerning population or sample, in this study, it was described under respondents, the sampling technique used here is non-probability convenience sampling and there are 551 respondents. Please try to scrutinize this example journal. The third that you need to remember is tools or instrument. Tools or research instrument should be clearly discussed in the methods or methodology section. The name of the tool, description, validity, and reliability are necessary to be stated in the paper. Always remember that when you write the method section, the design or approach, population or sample, and research tool or instrument should be discussed. In case your study employed statistics, statistical treatment is also part of the method section. In this example, descriptive statistics such as frequency, percentage, mean, median, and standard deviation were utilized, while for the inferential statistic, it's hierarchical ordinal logistic regression. Again, for today's lecture, we are discussing A. Imrad. We're done with A, the abstract, the I, the introduction, the M for the methods, and now we go to results and discussion. There are research journals that results and discussion are combined in one section. Make sure you check their format, or if this is a requirement from your classwork, Please follow the given template of your professor. Results. It answer, what did you find? Try to look at the example journal in your screen. Look at the variables, grit, autonomy, competence, relatedness, and psychological well-being. How about discussion? 
discussion. Answers, what does it mean? The mean, description, and standard deviation all talk about the findings. Again, try to look at the variables grid. The mean is 3.5 with description very gritty and standard deviation of 0 0.44. Okay, autonomy 4.43, somewhat satisfied 0 0.62. These are the results. Discussion. Discussion is the explanation of the findings. It tells about the research result. If there is a table, ensure that each table or figure has a unique label and number. Some journals have separate results section, but still, the content is about the research findings. Some journals do not require tabular presentation on the results section, especially if it is a qualitative research. The emerging themes appear instead of table titles, just like the example presented in your screen. If you want to know more about other guidelines on presenting the results, you may check the previous recorded lecture about IMRED. If the research journal requires you to have a separate discussion section, don't forget to summarize your main findings, comment on those findings, connect to other researches, for other information you needed to consider in the discussion section, you may review the posted recorded lecture on AIMRAD or IMRAD. We're done discussing A, abstract, I, introduction, M, methods, R, results, and D, discussion. So we're done with the acronym IMRAD. All the conclusion is not part of the acronym IMRAD or AIMRAD, it is part of most journal articles. Conclusions to describe well-articulated findings and on the basis of the data presented in the paper. Then, concisely recommend new direction for future research. In some research journals, conclusion and recommendation are separate. This is an example of a research journal with separate recommendation. In some journals, recommendation are number. Some are also bulleted, while some are in the usual paragraph statement format. In this example, the recommendations are numbered. Don't forget the references section and the text citation should be precisely matched. All citation in the text and only those must be listed in the references. The citation style sometimes depends on the academic disciplines in bold. These are the commonly used styles. APA, or the American Psychological Association style, commonly used in education, psychology, and sciences. MLA, or the Modern Language Association, commonly used in humanities. The CMS, or the Chicago Manual of Style, generally used in business, history, and the fine arts. And there are many more. Kindly look at the journal. What do you think is the citation style used in this example journal? This journal example used 
IEE or the Institute for Electrical and Electronics Engineer. Some journals require acknowledgement intended to express gratitude to the organization and people who contributed significantly to the research described in the study. Some also required brief profile of the researchers or authors. These are the references used in this recorded short lecture. I really hope you learn and may this become one of your guides in writing your research paper in AIMRAD format. Thank you.